Okay, this is the Test of Will Shrine quest, the Joluna Shrine. I want to find this. Can't go up by Wasteland Tower, go to the northeast, and if you zoom in close enough, you'll see this perfect circle right there. That's these things right here. So you talk to the Gorons. I don't feel like breeding at all. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put my ice blade on. I'm gonna need my grew to close to. See now in the first ring you can go ahead and do that. You can use an ice blade and your grew to close and you'll survive the heat. But in the second ring, fire resistance, they won't let you use any clothing or swords, but that one's not heat, it's fire. As long as you got a fireproof elixir, you can use it. See right there, he says, is that heat resistant gear you have there, brother? Real Goron man shouldn't have to rely on wussy stuff like that. Goron up and take the challenge without any help. So, you have to remove. Sword. I'm going to change my clothes back into my. this stuff. But. Take a fireproof elixir. Ah. Ah. I just stand here, ah. or you can dance around. Oh, make sure you don't have any wooden weapons, shields, or bows equipped either, if they'll catch on fire. Okay, now, if you don't have fire people with you, and you want to get some, I'll show you where you get it. Even if you don't have fireproof elixir, even if you got 
as many as many heart containers as I have right now, you should be fine. You'll lose some hearts, but if you don't have a whole lot of hearts and you want some fireproof elixir, go up to the northeast <clears throat> foothill stable right here. There's a lady standing outside Foothill Stable that's always sweeping. Just talk to her and she'll sell you three bottles for... I can't remember how many rupees it is, maybe 120 or something like that. Anyways, you can watch my Foothill Stable video. Actually, it'll, the label will be... It's the Malakit Shrine and Foothill Stable together. But I think the first... I want to check out my the video on Goron City because in that video I go to Foothill Stable and buy the elixir to head to Goron City. So if you check out my Goron City video, you'll get all the details there. Another apparatus. This first one's kind of weird. You have to the electricity has to touch every every one of these things on it. So just kind of tilt it all over the place. It's hard to do. But I mean, there's only so far you can bend your wrists. You just want to turn those things so there's not fire's not touching them. Sometimes it's like, oh great, no. Oh, never mind. See, from the other side, it looks like that was getting hit by water. You have to light every one of these. See, Nintendo is famous for recycling ideas, so you'll see a lot of. A lot of things in shrines twice. Like there's another one where you have to light all these things.
That's a treasure chest. I didn't see treasure. What I have marked down for the treasure. The golden claymore. That would have been nice to get, but I don't know where it is. Probably back in that other room. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat the shrine, but I'm going to come right back in. Try to find that claymore. got the spirit orb, I don't necessarily have to beat it again. I just go in and look for my treasure chest and leave. I can't remember where it's at because I really haven't done this shrine that many times. Maybe four? Five? Whereas all the other shrines I've done like 14, 15 times. Great, so I do have to do this part over at least. Shouldn't these still be like lit from last time? I think my treasure chest is in this next room. Yep, there it is. See if I remember how to get to it. Oh yeah, I remember. It's really hard to get. So you gotta have the fan plane like directly at it.
Golden Claymore. Only worth 28 points. So anyway, that's how you want to have it aimed. So that's how you beat that train. That's how you get the golden claymore.